Hey everybody, welcome back to another live stream. This is a live stream of the J. Simon Redemption Series. So let's tell you a little bit about this product and we're going to rip these open. Before I rip them open though, I would like to point out that there is one little issue with one of these packs. All these packs have these little, these things just kind of flake right off. They're barely even on there. One of the packs came missing a sticker. So I wrote pack six on there. All the other ones have them, but again, the, the stickers just kind of like fall right off. So I don't know what happened. I looked around in the box, didn't see it. So pack six doesn't have a sticker. I wrote it in black marker. Just want to tell everyone that so you don't think there's any kind of uh, weirdness going on with that. But anyway, here's what we have for you today. It is the J. Simon Mystery Packs. It's called the Redemption Series, and Jason has included a note about this product. It says, Dear Mr. Jabs, I chose to name this mystery pack the Redemption Series for two reasons. First, I'm looking to redeem myself after the first big mystery series. And secondly, each pack will have a redemption in it. And I have 12 redemption items here off camera. It says, What to expect from this series? Well, you can expect autographs, slab cards, case hits of home field advantage, and Redemptions. You will find Julio Rodriguez short printed cards and three different Julio Rodriguez autographs and so much more. It says there's only 12 packs to be made up. Each one will have a redemption and he feels that each pack will be worth the money. He's looking forward to seeing my reaction to this series from Jason Simon. All right, so here we go, folks. Before we do anything here, we have to go ahead and bring in the old randomizer. So let me go ahead and bring the computer in play. This is random.org. And if we go down to find the list randomizer page right here, we're going to copy and paste the names. These are the 12 people that paid <coughs> for the J. Simon Packs. So we'll put their names right here, and we're going to hit the randomize button, and it's going to mix them all up, and that's what pack you're going to get. All the packs are laid out right here at the top of your screen. So let's go ahead and hit the randomize button and see what you got. I've got your names ready to go. Now that I real, now that I think about it, I accidentally wrote all the numbers on there of the order that you bought in, so I'll have to fix that. Um, all right. I should have left the numbers blank. Darn it. It's always something. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and hit the randomize button right now and see who's going to get what pack. Randomize. Steve Sasko is going to have pack number one. Jason Myers, two. Chase, three. Richard Sasko, four. Faro will have five. Todd S to six. Timothy Johansson, seven. Brandon Eller, eight. Paul S will have nine. Daniel Tazi, ten. Michael Coleman, 11, and Salvatore will have spot number 12. All right, folks, here we go. These mystery packs, I am not sure what's in here, but we are going to pull the first one off the top and see if we can find J. Simon pack number one. This one was randomized to be for Mr. Steve Sasko. So let me find Steve's card. He was spot number four. Now he's pack Number one. So I'll just put 4-1. The pack will be what's numbered there, just so I have your name. All right, here we go. Let's bring in the box cutter. I should have had my scissors handy, but I left them downstairs. Had I like to have scissors nearby for Mystery Box Monday, just because I seem to always need them. All right, so inside you have a big stack of cards. Let's see what we've got in here. First, we have... A team bag here. This looks like it's going to be some short prints. Walker Bueller, short print. We've got a Logan Gilbert out of 250. Nice purple shimmer. Andre Lara out of 299 first. Jordan Adams out of 125. Hey, there's a Jordan Alvarez pink rookie card from 2020. And Tyler Stevenson is the last one right there. His rookie auto for Steve. We've got more autos coming up. JT Rail Muto is the first one here from the Phillies. We've got a Jesse Winker. That one's numbered out of 30. Jesse Winker. That one is a gold border card. And we have a redemption of a mini binder of Hunter Green. So there's the first redemption. Every single one of these packs will have a redemption. And we have a Topps Definitive card here. 
This one is Joey Votto. Very nice card right there. Joey Votto. This one is numbered out of 25. So let's go ahead and bring the redemption in. Hunter Green. Let me find it. Off to the side. Green, 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 green. Hunter Green. He's around here somewhere. I just saw him. Now I can't find him. There he is. So this is what you get, Steve, in addition to everything else. You have a Hunter Green mini binder. These fit like 40 or 50 cards. So you're going to get about 40 or 50 Hunter Green prospects and rookie cards right there. There's his archives rookie card, his tops black gold rookie 92 pro debut. You've got his tops fire rookie cards, his update rookie cards. There's probably going to be a bunch of those. Surprised on a mini green binder. Yeah, I think he probably went with the red because of the reds team colors. So a whole bunch of those stars of MLB, more gallery. 87, there's a Chronicles Obsidian card. Hey, Timmy, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well also. There's out of 25 Hunter Green right there. And a Hunter Green autograph is in there. How about that? Hunter Green autograph hiding out inside the binder. Very, very nice right there. And a rookie refractor of Hunter Green as well. So all of this is for Steve. We're not quite done with Steve yet. you got to get to his quote-unquote good stuff. He has a case hit home field advantage card of Corey Seager in a one touch. We also have, oh man, I see Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie De La Cruz coming up. This is an Ellie De La Cruz graded slab. It is going to be his silver pack mojo. It's a PSA 10. Wow, that's a big card right there. Ellie De La Cruz silver pack. I just filmed a video from the card show and I was I I I got distracted by an entire case of Ellie De La Cruz and uh, this card may have been in there. His cards are very very expensive. That is an awesome slab right there. Timmy T times in the house. Hey Timmy, best of luck man. I'll keep you in my thoughts and prayers. Just stay positive. And man, what an awesome card right here. This one is there's still one more card there for Steve. All right, Steve, it's kind of a red theme. You had a Joey Votto auto. You had an Ellie De La Cruz PSA 10. And we'll see if this one's also another Reds hit. And it's not. Oh, your Don Alvarez out of our PSA 10. It is a pink. Another nice one. That's what we like to see. Some PSA 10s right there of your Don Alvarez pink refractor along with the Ellie De La Cruz. So, Steve, thank you very much. Yours is in the books. And pack number one is in the books today. There are chasers in this product to look out for. The Chasers, as I mentioned at the start, are Julio Rodriguez, three of his autographs. And now we're moving on to spot number two. Let me check the randomizer here and see who ended up with that one. Jason Myers had spot number two. So let me find his little name card here. It'd probably be faster just to make a, a new name card. So Jason Myers at pack number two. Originally, he was the ninth person to pay in. That's what that first number is. And let's pull the next pack down off the ledge. Here we go. Jay Simon, pack number two underway. I see a Corey Kluber. That's going to be a vintage stock card to lead things off in this next pack. We've got Dalen Lyle out of 199. There's a nice Yadier Molina orange out of 25. Hey, we got the Vlad Jr. rookie card from Topps Chrome. That's a nice one. Teoscar Hernandez, purple auto refractor. Numbered out of 250 and Taiwan Walker Purple Speckle Auto Refractor numbered to 299. All right, so it seems like it just gets better as we go down through. You'll have a redemption in here as well. You can see it poking out right here, Jason. Carlos Aguilar is going to be the first auto here, and you have the Wander Franco. Wander Franco mini binder along with a Luis Patino out of 150. So that's a good one right there, Wander Franco. Let's check it out. Wander Franco mini binder. The Hunter Green one had a whole bunch of good stuff in it, including a an autograph. Let's see what we've got going on here. So about 40 or 50 Wander Franco rookie cards coming up. You can see his Bowman, his what's that one? A 2020 Bowman prospect card. There's his heritage from last year, prospect from series update series last year. His heritage 
We've got his um, Don Russ and Diamond King rookie cards right there. There's his Tops opening day and regular Tops card. We got his Chrome card. We have his complete set variation card as update, including <clears throat> though there is a Julio Rodriguez binder. Don't worry, there is a Julio binder coming up. That's the silver foil card right there. <clears throat> we have more Wander Francos, the '87 Tops blue border card right there. And we also have the Chrome card right there as well. More Chrome cards. Two more Chrome Refractor rookie cards. We've got the Sterling. This is a good binder right here. Awesome Wander binder. Museum collection, pristine. Looks like uh, he has pretty much the entire gamut of all of his rookie cards. Fire, elegance. We've got Wander Franco. We've got the gallery, new classics insert card. Prisms. One of them, the white. We've got the silver pack rookies as well. And you have a Wander Franco autograph in there. How about that one? It is a purple prism redemption. You have two years to redeem it. Till 2024, Jason Myers with a Wander Franco autograph surprise at the back end of his pack. So congratulations on that. That's pretty awesome. Moving on to the next card it's going to be a james wood that is a james wood from pro debut it is a red this one might be number out of five and it is four of five james wood that is a super nice low numbered card it's time for the hits here we have two slabs first up we have a martin jimenez and this one is going to be a psa nine that one is numbered out of 250 it is a psa nine of his purple and now that takes us to the final card in this box. It looks like it is tuxedo time, as we are going to see an SGC graded card. And it is going to be Wander Franco case hit right there. It is an SGC 10 of the Wander Franco case hit home field advantage. A beautiful card right there. Love that one a lot. I've pulled that one a couple times, and it's always a nice one no matter what. So that was a Wander Franco box right there, it seemed like, with all the Wander Franco-ness in there, Wander Franco binder, and now an autograph as well, and now that hit also. Moving ahead to spot number three, let me check the randomizer and see who ended up with this next pack for the J. Simon Series 3 pack. This one was randomized to go to Chase Campbell in pack number three. So let me put a three on your card. Circle it. Fifth person to pay. Randomized to the third spot of the batting lineup. Good luck, Chase. Let's see what we can find here. Haven't hit any chasers yet. Yeah, there are three Julio Rodriguez autographs in here. Here we go. Chase, and Chase is in the house. There he is, Chase C. Let's see what we can find for Chase. Yeah, I can't wait to see that Julio binder. Man, those binders, even like the binders that we auction off that have like 27 or 36 Julio Franco uh, base cards usually go for like 300 bucks. People love Julio Rodriguez. Jack says, Jason, if you're willing to sell that Wander Franco booklet, please let him know. So if you're not a big Wander collector, you do, you do have a buyer in here. Let's check this out. Luis Castillo, that is going to be the vintage stock card. There's an Austin Riley rookie card from 2019 update. Blaze Jordan Speckle pulled his massive one-of-one one black shimmer the other day. Pete Alonso rookie card. That's a nice complete set variation. And Helio Ramos out of 25 is the last one in the first pack. First pack is always a little bit slow to start. Gets better as we go down the list. Or down the stack. Chaz McCormick, rookie auto. We've got a Carson Williams, Sterling auto. And we have a Spencer Torkelson redemption. So this one, let me find him. Torkelson, here it is. Redemption binder of Spencer Torkelson. And there is a Giovanni Moran rookie auto right there out of 25. That's a pretty nice one right there. Like that one a lot. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this Torkelson binder. We have Torkelson's 2020 Bowman card. A whole bunch of his rookie and prospect cards of Torque. And I, the big question is, will there be an autograph? The first two redemption binders had autographs in both of them. 
And there's a whole bunch of update of Torque in there as well. Maybe that last card. Cards by Marcus says, all will have an auto in the mini binders. There's his silver foil. He'll have his gold in there and his blue. So some parallels. Gold foil. And yes, indeed, another one. It is the Elite Autograph Spencer Torkelson Redemption. So it looks like every single binder that is a redemption will also come with a free... I guess it's included in the price, obviously, but it will come with a autograph. That's pretty awesome. Let's continue on and see what we have next. Next up, we have a home field advantage. It is a Torkelson hot pack right here. Home field advantage of Torkelson. And here we go. Here's one of the big cards. It is a J-Rod autograph. There are three chasers of the J-Rod in there. Looks like this card actually has fallen down in the one touch a little bit, so I'm going to have to replace that one in there. Luckily, he put a sleeve over the card, so it's not going to have any surface damage. But a Julio Rodriguez autograph from Bowman's Best. This one is from 2021 Bowman's Best. He said he had three chasers in there. There's one of them right there. The other chasers, there's still two more J-Rods in here. And there's also the J-Rod short print rookie card, which is over $300. I, I I didn't say which one. I think he means the Series 2 short print. An awesome card right there. How about that, Chase C? You got that one right there. Let me go ahead and reorient this card inside the one touch and fix that bad boy up because it looks like it is falling out. Actually, you know what? It's supposed to be that way. It is one of those one touches where the sleeve, it's meant to uh, be sleeved up. So I don't ever use that kind. So it's actually in there nice and, and safe and sound for you, Chase. All right, so we have Larry Ernesto next. This is going to be his first Bowman Orange Shimmer, PSA 9 out of 25. And the last one, Jonathan India, Rookie of the Year. It is his first Bowman card. It's autographed from Signature Series, and that one is a PSA 9. Finn's Pool says the J-Rod binder is going to be crazy. So far, I like the J-Rod stuff. For sure, those are some nice hits. We'll continue on with this in just one moment. I've got to put these binders in the box. Actually, I actually want to put all of these in the box. I have like a uh, quote-unquote paid box where I like to keep everything nice and straight. And I realized I'd put the, the binders in the box sideways and the card next to it sideways, and I don't want to do that. Because when I go to carry all the stuff downstairs, I don't want anything to move around and anything to shift, like, up in the box and get into somebody else's cards. I don't want anything to get mixed up. All right, so, Chase, congratulations on the big hit. We're moving on next to spot number four. Here it is. JM says, if I ask for baseball cards for Christmas, what should I ask for? Well, you could just ask for some Topps Holiday. It all depends on what type of uh, budget you have. Um, I don't know. It all depends on your parents and what they are going to spend. If they're going more higher end, you might want to go with a, definitely a higher end product like a hobby box. Richard Sasko is coming up next at spot number four. We already saw Steve Sasko go at spot number one. Let's see what Richard can find now at spot number four. Best of luck to you, man. Let's see what we can find for Richard Sasko. Luke Voigt leading things off. It's going to be a vintage stock out of 99. Mr. Rip is calling a PSA 10. So there's a Ray Wave Jose Torres. We've got the Vlad Jr. rookie card here. We have Kyle Manzarato. Brady says you should display the J-Rod in the new stands. I don't think that the one-touch wouldn't fit in those stands. I'd have to take it out of the one-touch, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Carlton Fisk out of 99. Reese Hoskins auto. And Joey Wendell, that's going to be a purple out of 250 autographs. So a few autographs in that first pack. Next up, we have a Luke Williams. Here comes the redemption. It's going to be Prospects. Redemption binder Prospects and Ryan Howard, former MVP right there. Ryan Howard, let's get that Prospect binder right now and see what we have in this one. Here it is. Might as well check these out and see which Prospects Jay Simon has included. Oh, What? These are are these all autographs? No way. That's pretty cool. Addison Barger first. Anthony Gutierrez. Pedro Pineda is a big time prospect. Colson Montgomery, a first rounder. Christian Hernandez, another big time prospect. Trey Sweeney. Noah Miller. Holy cow. 
We have Eduardo Garcia, Mitchell Bratt. These all look to be autos. Gunnar Hogland, the Blue Jays, first round pick. Randy Florentino. We have Ryan Cusick, Nick Gonzalez, orange. He was a Pirates first round pick. Look at all these autos in here. Mr. Rip says, oh my God, that was unexpected. Peter Habeck, Spencer Swillenbach of the Braves, Darrell Hernandez, JT Schwartz, Jackson Merrill, Ezekiel Tovar, Henry Mendez, Matt Fraser. Who saw that one coming? I did not. Dario Lopez, numbered card. That one will probably be out of 50. Gabriel Rodriguez, orange. Victor Bericotto. Henry Davis, the number one overall pick. And it is a green parallel out of 99. Henry Davis, Richard Sasko. Lindsay says, it's the kitchen sink prospect auto mini binder right here. Mr. Rip says, they just keep going and going. Luca Tresh, Ben Casparius. We have Brandon Valenzuela, Christian Roa. Nico Holzheiser, Colton Kowser Mojo. What a great card that is. Colton Kowser, the Orioles' number one pick a couple years ago. Another great card right there. Braylon Haraba, Matt Frazier, Sapphire. Another awesome. There's a, this binder here is uh, just unbelievable. Taylor Walls, Alec Manoa in his WVU uniform, autograph. Starlene Aguilar, Josuar Garcia. I can't believe this whole binder is autos. Carlos Coleman Harris. Reginald Press Yacht out of 150 in the final card. It's going to be Henry Davis out of 15. 15. Henry Davis Sterling. That's like a rose gold refractor out of 15. JM said, Richard, you just made your money back on this binder alone. I can't believe that. That was very unexpected. I thought, honestly, folks, I think all of us expected as well. We're going to see maybe a J-Rod card, a whole bunch of Topps Update rookie cards in here, just base, maybe some parallels. But a whole bunch, that is, uh, man, that's, I thought the J-Rod binder was going to be the best one. That's likely going to be the best one. That was awesome. Richard, congratulations on that. That's going to be tough to top. And now you probably have, since that was so good, Richard, you probably have a Kyle Lewis PSA 9 and an Aristides Aquino PSA 7 coming up as your hits just to balance it all out. Just kidding. Well, uh, hopefully that's not the case. Showtime coming up. It is Shohei Otani in a PSA 10 after the Alec Thomas. Shohei, what a good pack, Richard. Richard, I think you beat Steve in this one. PSA 10, Shohei Otani's rookie card from 2018 update, rookie debut. And Mike Trout wraps this one up in a PSA 10. That is his 2013 Gold Cup card right there. Man, what an amazing card. Holy cow. I don't even know what to say about this. Uh, I don't know what to say. This, is, uh, this, this was an amazing pack. So the binder of all those autographs... And now we have a Mike Trout PSA 10 2013 Tops card. Unbelievable, says Flamin. Mark Barrett in the house says, what a pack. Indeed, what a pack that was. Awesome cards in that one. Richard Sasko, congrats, man. Big uh, virtual high five to you on your pack. Best one of the night, in my opinion. And we're not done yet. We're only a third of the way through. We will continue on now at spot number five. Let me check the randomizer. Spot number five is for Faro. So you are the first person to buy in. You are randomized to spot number five. Let's get pack number five down off this and see if we can continue this uh, hot streak here after that last pack. See a super chat from Tim Gossett. Tim G's in the house. Says, Eric, I've been emailing you about possibly buying my $55 mystery pack series. Emails from Big. Uh, nice chases like Home Field Advantage, Kershaw, Rookie Card, uh, Home Field Advantage, Wander. Okay, man, I'll check it out. Definitely, I have, um, we got Matt Siemens coming up, and then uh, I might have an opening for another one. So, Tim, I'll look into it. I will make a little note to check into that. I, I do get a lot of emails a day. Currently, I have over 100,000 unread emails, just like all these PayPal receipts and just, it just gets flooded. So I should probably have like a business account for like business opportunities. So Tim, I got your name written down and I'll check into that when I get a chance. All right, Farrell, let's see what we have. We have Austin Gomber right there. There is Luis 
Lewis Brinson, who may be one of the biggest busts of the last five years. That's out of 99. He was the centerpiece of the Christian Yelich deal, and it never worked out for him. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. There's a Dusty Baker rose gold mini diamond card numbered out of 75. We've got Patrick Bailey out of 199, first round pick by the Giants a few years back, and Jeff Jenkins, fan favorite purple, number to one, actually to 990, it looks like. Coming up next, next pack, we've got a Francisco D. Plon out of 99, Refractor Auto. Look at this! What a nice card this one is! Rafael Devers and Jose Ramirez, dual relic autograph. You don't see that one ever. I've opened a ton of tops. Uh, from 2022, probably honestly, like I wouldn't be surprised if I've opened 100 cases of Jumbo uh, over all the Saturday showdowns all year long. And I haven't found a single card like this in any of my cases. No dual relic autos. That is an amazing card right there out of 25. You have a redemption card of CJ Abrams and you have an Alec Manoa. This one is numbered to 49 right there. So let me get that C.J. Abrams binder for you, and we'll check it out. So far, every single binder has had an autograph in it. So you see C.J. Abrams rookie cards from 2022. He, uh, coming through the uh, minor leagues, was always a nice prospect. Lots of his tops update cards in here, his rookie cards and his rookie debuts. Tops fire, stars of MLB. Tim Goss says, thanks, Eric. I'll resend an email now. Thanks, man. I'll check it out uh, hopefully tomorrow sometime when I have a little bit of downtime on my break. We've got a silver pack card right there. Then there's a blue, retail blue. And, wow, no auto in that one. So I got thrown off guard there. I thought an auto. You spoiled us, Jason, with all those autos. But still, there's a whole bunch of C.J. Abrams' goodness going on there. Let's check out what Faro has in the rest. You have a home field advantage, Jose Ramirez. So I'm kind of feeling a Jose Ramirez or Indians theme. You had a Jose Ramirez autograph. You have a Jose Ramirez home field advantage. And you only have one graded card. Everyone else had two. And your card, it's going to be... Wow, look at this. It is a Prism Refractor rookie card of Shohei Otani. Look at that one. It is a PSA 10. That is an amazing card right there. I just bought a big Prism Refractor myself out at the card show um, this weekend, and this one puts mine to shame. I can't believe this one. What an amazing card that one is. 2018 Topps Chrome PSA 10 Prism Refractor. This card right here is the reason these boxes are thousands of dollars a piece, the jumbo boxes. Awesome card right there. I see one listed right now on eBay. I just did a quick check for $675 on the list. I see another one listed for $699. So you have a 600 something card here, Faro. No wonder you only had one, <laughs> one hit in that pack and one, one uh, slab hit, I should say. Great pack right there. All right, so Jay Simon. Uh, Jay Harris is in the house. Says, this is Jason Simon series. He's a great dude. Uh, Justin Harris in the house. He's done mystery packs. I think he has a mystery binder series he's working on. I can't wait to check that one out. And let's check out this next one. I told you at the beginning of the break, one of these was missing a, uh, um, its sticker because the stickers just flake right off. So I went through and I lined them all up, and it was pack number six that was missing one. So this one was randomized to be Todd Estes. So Todd, yours doesn't have a sticker on it, but I just um, I did say that at the beginning. So you, you know, it's 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 an actual J. Simon pack. It's not an imposter pack. It's just missing its sticker. So you got pack number six. We'll put your name on this card, pack number six, and away we go. I can feel the slabs in there, but I don't want to cut into them. So. Let's see what we have in this next one. Put them face down. I want to see those slabs last. Starting things off, we got a Trent Grisham. I think that might be a Trent Grisham short print. We've got the Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. Greg Maddox, blue out of 150. Tim Tebow rookie card. You don't see this one every day. Now I just kind of, uh, I got all excited. I, I did my card show video. I filmed it. I'm going to upload it on Wednesday. But I, I've, I've, I bought this card at the card show for 50 cents. 
Uh, I bought a bunch of cards for way less than they, they're worth for 50 cents. Uh, this was always such a hot card in 2019, 2020. Christian says, hey, I'm new here. I just subscribed to Jab's Patreon. Cannot stop watching his channel. Christian, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you along, man. And thank you very much for signing up. We have a Team Break Tuesday filling right now. We have, oh, what do we have in Team Break Tuesday? We're bringing back Alan and Ginter, Chronicles, and Bowman Chrome from last week. Those breaks are half sold already from last week. So those have limited spots left. We have Stadium Club from 2022 we're putting in. And then we're putting in Optic and Heritage, high number as well. Um, we have Shoyo Tani. That is a pink out of $3.99. Next up, we've got Juan Yepes. That is going to be his rookie auto right there. So very nice. Juan Yepes, rookie auto. And Aloy Jimenez. Very nice. It is the archives. I've never seen one of these signed before. I've seen these cards put in, but I've never seen one signed. That's an awesome card right there. Aloy Jimenez. We have Adonis Medina out of 99. Here's the redemption. It's Jeremy Pena. And you're Don Alvarez, Auto. Take a look at that one. Mixes Eric, your cyborg. I would think you would do team breaks once a month, but every week, respect. Hey, man, as long as I can get them shipped out and keep up with it, I'll do them um, because people have requested them and seem to enjoy them so i'm sure there'll be some weeks where i get a little bit behind and i won't be able to uh my thing is if i don't have them all sorted and shipped by tuesday then i'm not going to run it but i got last week's done um i just worked super hard over the weekend and got them all out by like monday i think um not monday what i don't even run today's monday maybe no like two days after i did the break is what i'm what i'm saying here I'm losing my train of thought here because, man, Jeremy, this is a Jeremy Pena binder. Let's take a look at this. I see a super chat popped up here. That would be right, Thursday. Some of you may already have your team breaks in hand from Tuesday. Anthony House says, glad to be a part of this channel. It is great. Such a fun and family atmosphere. The things you can learn from listening. Great job, Eric. Thank you very much, Anthony, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And thanks, everybody. Almost 900 people in here on a Monday evening after 10 o'clock. I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. We got a first, a couple of firsts right there. We had his first Bowman as well, Jeremy Pena. Got his update rookie cards. Finns is calling an autograph. I would, I bet you that, I, you know what? I bet there's an autograph at the end. We got some tops fire. Whole bunch of Jeremy Pena rookie cards. I do not ship Patreon packages to Canada, but I will uh, send breaks to Canada if you pay. There's a first camo right there because Patreon is just set. They always charge you the same amount every month for the packages. And I don't have any Canadian um, tiers set up yet. Got a Sapphire and a camo right there out of 99, 2021 Bowman Chrome, Atomic. And we've got the short print of him juggling as the last one. So, Todd, thank you very much. We're not done with you yet, though, Todd. Still have some more. We got the Jeremy Pena Gold Rookie Card, Tops Update Rookie Debut. Always love the gold. Uh, any kind of rookie parallels that are numbered is the way to go. Alex Bregman, so many Astros in this one. Here comes the hits. We got Eduarki Fernandez. This one is going to be a PSA 10 green out of 99. And the final one for Todd, it's Jeremy Pena. You knew it was coming, right? With all the Jeremy Pena goodness. And, Todd, this one is going to be a pink. SGC pink out of $2.99, or fuchsia, should I say it correctly. That is an SGC 10 out of $2.99 of his 2021 Bowman Prospect card. So, nice Jeremy Pena pack for Todd. Todd, thank you very much. Get your stuff sent out to you. If not tomorrow, then the next day. I'll try to keep everything just... Flowing right out the door. Open it up. Ship it out the next day if I can. All right. Where are we at next? Pack number seven. Coming up next. Best of luck to you at pack number seven. That was randomized to be Timothy Johansson at pack number seven. So here's your name tag. Put a seven on there. And let's pull it down off the stack and see what we have in our seventh pack on this Mystery Box Monday live series. 12 total packs all together. Almost showed the slab. Oh, there's a JSA authentication ticket in there. Jimmer Candelaria's short print leads things off here. We've got Xavier Edwards out of 499, Kyle Tucker rookie, Bryson Stott gold foil, and Henry Davis 
That's an Atomic of Henry Davis. Man, I still can't get over that Henry Davis auto out of 15. Steve Saska's box was nuts. That was nuts. Um, Steve Saska's box, I don't. I, if you added them all up, that might be over $1,000 or more, his box. It was crazy. There's Nate Pearson, purple. Number to 250, we've got a Justin Mays. That one is his first Bowman Auto. Austin Meadows, Redemption, short print binder. And Kyle Tucker, 250. Kyle Tucker, definitive to 50. Let's check out the short print binder right now and redeem it for Timothy. Short print binder, here it is. All of these cards will be short print. 40 cards. Let's see, we have O'Neill Cruz starts things off. Ty Man, it's different years. Tyler O'Neill rookie card. Stroman, Yon Moncada, Josh Harrison, Jose Barrios. A lot of these cards you may have never even seen before. I know that I haven't seen some of these. Greg Bird, he faded away pretty quickly, huh? Kyle Seeger, Tom Seaver, Don Mattingly from 2018 Tops, McCutcheon and Marcel Ozuna. We've got Michael Fulmer's rookie card, Babe Ruth. Skip the page here. We've got Jose Abreu and Aaron Nola. There's Belly Bombs Gold Cup of Ben Attendi. Ryan Sandberg, 2019 short print. Kyle Tucker, 2020 short print. There's Eric Hosmer, Andrew McCutcheon, Clemente, and Ryan Mountcastle Gold Cup short print. Jonathan India, Mark McGuire, Big Mac. We've got Mackenzie Gore and Carlos Correa. There's Koufax from way back from 2012. And Ernie Banks, Clemens, Brooksy, Willie Mays. Love those cards. Those are some nice ones. <laughs> John says, wait, hey, these redemptions. There's absolutely no wait for these redemptions. There's two holes and Babe Ruth. Now it just struck me, by the way. It just struck me. I have already opened my, my Heritage High Number boxes. Um, those aren't out yet, but I decided to open them anyway because I couldn't wait. They use the exact same picture of Albert Pujols as his 2022 Archives card. I couldn't place it at the time. I was like, I've seen this picture before. So his 2022 Archives picture with him in the dugout with that nice... Nicely trimmed beard. Exact same picture in uh, Heritage China. And by the way, I don't want to give it away, but there was some huge first pack magic in the uh, first box of Heritage High Number that I opened up. I, I I just I feel like uploading it right now, but I'll probably wait at least a day. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. There's Shoyo Tani short print and a Mike Trout Chrome short print and a super short print of Tatis to finish things off. AJ says, you're my favorite YouTuber and do a great job. I have so many questions. Great job. Hopefully we can answer them uh, throughout um, the videos. I always try to give as much information as I possibly can during the videos about products or this or that or the other. Anything that pops into my head, I try to put it out there. I'm sure for any, especially anyone new to the hobby, definitely is going to have a million questions. So there's no harm in asking, right? Luis Robert, home field advantage, case hit right there. And here we go. We have a JSA. Timothy, this looks like it's going to be one and done, one slabbed card. Do you think it's Tatis? Is there any clues here of who it might be? Sometimes there's always kind of like uh, a theme with like the Jeremy Pena's and such. Let's see who it is. I'm going to guess there hasn't really been a, a thread running throughout here, I don't think. Oh, yeah, here it is. Kyle Tucker's the thread. We had a couple of his rookie cards. We have some, I'm going to guess Kyle Tucker. I'm right. It's J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, 2019 Bowman Chrome Auto. Amazing card right here. This is from one of those spotlight packs that Steel City had a few months back. His first Bowman Chrome autograph, and it is authenticated by JSA. There's the, you get this special, special authentication. So you might not recognize the grading company because they're that spotlight cards grading company, but this is a legit auto right here. It is certified as well by JSA, his first Bowman Chrome auto. An amazing card right here. Man, what a big card. Timothy Johansson, you got to be pretty happy with that one. Some huge pulls. Anthony C. House says, get out of town on that one. Timothy, congratulations. Hey, that's two of the J-Rod autos pulled. There's one left in the cell information. It was said that there would be three Julio Rodriguez autographs randomly inserted as chaser cards. And Timothy just got one. We have five packs left. Let's pull the next one out. It's pack number eight. It's going to Brandon Eller. I just sent your um, showdown win today, man. We're starting to work on those a little bit. So Brandon Eller had a bunch of brand, um, Bowman Chrome. Now let's see what he has in pack number eight. 
right here. Here we go, Brandon Eller, pack number eight. We've got Seth Beer's rookie card on the top. You have a redemption coming up as well. Only four packs left after this one. Thanks, Rex. I appreciate that, man. Aaron Judge rookie card, 2017 Bowman. Love that card. Chris Rogers just signed up as a new member. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Cedric Mullins, number two, 75. Ernie Banks to 150. Reggie Jackson, blue to 150. These are all from Silver Packs. And JT Realmuto. That'll be a numbered autograph to 99 to start things off in Brandon's pack. Next, we've got a Jared Walsh autograph. Nick Castellanos, rookie auto right there from 2014 Elite. You got a redemption. It's called Rookie. So let's see what we have going on in here. I have not peeked in any of the binders, by the way. I just I, I just assumed it would all... Like, I assume that one's all just going to be base rookies. And Angels Fan 70 has also just signed up as a new member. Thanks, man. A couple new members. Welcome. I hope you can join us for auctions. We have a huge auction of Jason Simon stuff on Thursday. So we're doing his mystery packs right now. We have all of his um, consignment to do on Thursday. Eric says, you're the only breaker that I could stand. Thank you very much, man. That's That means a lot. Edgar Martinez out of 50... And now, Brandon, might as well check that binder out. Do you think it's going to be a whole bunch of autographs again? I don't think so. That would be too crazy. It is going to be base rookies, it looks like. Maybe parallels. Jerry Pena. 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 Did they fake us out? And just Is this another Pena binder? No. It's going to be Torkelson. So it's basically the big rookie cards. There's Wanda Franco. We'll probably have O'Neal Cruz and J-Rod in here as well, I would imagine, as those were some big guys. CJ Abrams. There's O'Neill Cruz. Does J7 have an eBay store? I don't know if he's watching right now. There's Bobby Witt. J Simon, if you're watching, feel free to drop any uh, promotional links to your eBay store. Or at least let us know where they're at. And one of the moderators can maybe put it in there. J Rod Gallery, Tops Update. And we have Alex, um, Alex Thomas, Ellie Harris Montero, and Gabriel Arias parallels at the back end of that one for Brandon. So, Brandon, thank you very much. Congrats on those. Let's finish your pack off. Now we have a home field advantage to say a Suzuki. I actually pulled that one from my jumbo pack. I'm giving that one away in the showdown, or not the showdown, the uh, Christmas giveaway. Oh, boy. It's the card that haunts my dreams. Fernando Tatis Jr. I spent, on average, $200, $250 per card. I, I bought a bunch of these. And now they're all worth way less than that. This one is the PSA 10. There it is. I have a bunch of those as well. Oh, man, look at this. This sweetens the deal. Coming off that low of the Tatis PSA 10, we have the Julio Rodriguez short print in an SGC 10. How about that one, Brandon Eller? Man, what a nice pull that one is. That is another one of the chasers, a Julio Rodriguez SGC 10. That is the short print card from 2022 Tops. Series 2, the card that everyone was after. A beautiful card right there. How about that one? Dave says, big money on that card. So I just did a quick check on eBay, and there's one listed at $600, the same exact card. Another one's listed at $575. So you're probably looking at, Brandon, at least a $500 card with that one alone. Very nice. SGC 10 J-Rod. There's still one more J-Rod chaser out there. And there's four packs left. So we'll see who's going to end up with it. One more. We know there's one more J-Rod Auto. There might be other stuff in there, too. I only was uh, made aware of the J-Rod Chasers. How about that one, Jenny? <laughs> Your trademarks as fans. Maybe I should print a t-shirt with that on it, huh? All right, next. Pull the next one off the stack. It's pack number nine. This one's for Paul S. This one's yours at pack number nine that little hair out of there came with that pack and let's see what we've got in this one good luck paul there's luis severino on the top vintage stock out of 99 and we have will wagner out of 499 max muncie atomic first cal ripkin jr's rookie card from 1982 tops We've got Victor Labrada, first Bowman out of 99, and a Ray Wave of Oliver Ortega Blue from Topps Chrome. That's numbered out of 150. Let's keep this rolling right along. Got Davey Johnson. That's his 
on card auto from archives. We've got Giovanni Moran. That's going to be a black border card. And you hit the Spencer Strider Redemption. Look at this, Aaron Judge. Oh, man, Aaron Judge Auto, look out. And you know what What else? We may have a Judge Hot Pack. We've got the Judge Home Field Advantage card right here as well. Look at these two right there. You know, don't see Judge Autos too often anymore. That is a Topps Fire Auto of Aaron Judge. An amazing card right there. Love it. Spencer Strider, Paul. Let's go ahead and grab that redemption for you right now. There's only three packs left. One person will have a J-Rod binder coming up. So that's either going to be Daniel, Michael, or Salvatore. Oh, man, I just revealed it. There's a Spencer Strider. Oh, what? We have multiple Spencer Strider autographs. That's pretty awesome. And in between those autos, we will have all of his rookie cards from 2022 Tops Series 2, along with his 2022 Bowmans and Gypsy Queen and Fire. And I don't, I don't know what this one is exactly. So there's Gallery, Bowman Sterling, Gold Foil, Tops Fire Purple, and there's his autograph. Nice binder right there for Paul. So, Paul, congratulations on that one. Strider Binder. Really cool stuff. Love the mini binders. Cool idea right there. And now, guys, I'm predicting this last card has got to be a judge, right? Judge Auto, Judge Case Hit. Here it comes. It's an SGC. No, I was wrong. It's a Jordan Alvarez one of one. That is a one of one Jordan Alvarez rookie auto. Look at this. It is a one of one Jordan Alvarez. There's the designation. And furthermore, it is his rookie card. Holy cow. A Jordan Alvarez autograph. Rookie card, his cards have been very, very hot as he had a great season. And that is a an SGC9 with an auto grade of a 10. What a hit on that one. You faked us out, Jason. I thought it was, I could have sworn it was going to be an Aaron Judge PSA 10 Chrome rookie card or something like that, which still would have been an amazing hit. But that's a one of one Jordan Alvarez rookie auto. I have no idea what the price would even be on that. What do you guys think that would go for? Dave Durango who's a straight shooter when it comes to pricing, says, disgusting pools tonight. Uh, Scope Seeker says, real talk, Jay Simon. How did you just part with that card? So another, there was some unannounced chasers, and this was one of them. I had no idea that was coming. He did say in the note, he, he didn't want to give everything away, so he did specifically say that he would be looking forward to my reactions, putting some crazy stuff in like that. And I was not expecting that one. Gabriel thinks it's worth $100,000. I wouldn't say that much. That would be pretty crazy if it was. We're seeing $700. Yeah, definitely. I would say it's definitely over $500 there. How about that one? Matt says, I was falling asleep until I started watching this. Glad to wake you up. I hope uh, hope we don't keep you up all night here. This is We're only going to be here another probably 10 minutes or so. we got three packs left, maybe 15 minutes. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, to all 900-plus people in here right now. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's keep this show on the road with spot number 10. This one's going to... Uh, Daniel Tazi. So let me get the 10 written on there. He was the sixth person to pay. And he was randomized to be in spot number 10. So there's three binders left. One of them's a J-Rod. I, I can see the names of the other ones too, but I don't want to give away what they are. So let's see what Daniel has in this next pack. We've got Joe Kelly. So folks, um, J7, by the way, he did another mystery pack that came up a little bit short. It seemed like maybe he had uh, overvalued his cards, and he actually gave $100 back to everyone in the break. Um, some people were a little disappointed, and this is this is why it's called the Redemption Series. He's redeeming himself, and I think he's done that so far with some of these big hits. Shoei Otani Prism PSA 10 Refractor, that one-of-one one Jordan Alvarez, three J-Rod Autos, one yet to be found, an SGC 10 J-Rod. Let's see what we have in this next pack. We got Joe Kelly, vintage stock out of 99. The mix says, redemption accomplished. There's Pete Alonso. That's his Chrome rookie card. Joe Ryan Blue. Mackenzie Gore out of 199. And Isaac Pacheco out of 299. Coming up next for Daniel, we have some autos here. 
We've got Eli Morgan. That's a purple. It will be numbered out of 250. We've got JT Real Muto autograph from Gallery. And there it is, the J-Rod binder. If you've been waiting for it, it's going to be time to look through it right now. J-Rod binder coming up. we got a Goldie auto and a Shane Boz. Very nice. Paul Goldschmidt MVP autograph right there. And Shane Boz, nice rookie. That's his auto. Let's go ahead and grab it. Here it is. You've been waiting to check this one out. It is the J-Rod Mini Binder. All right, man. Music says, is this a dream? Because this has been an amazing selection of cards. Here we go. J-Rod first edition from 2020. We've got his 2022 Bowman Chrome cards. And there is Fire rookie card along with his Recon Chronicles rookie. Tops now J-Rod rookie cards. We've got his gallery rookie cards. We've got his archives rookie cards. Some more of his archives rookie cards and gallery. We've got his 92 pro debut rookie card style. There's the all-star game base and also the rookie debut from update in there. A bunch of those. I love those cards. Those are good ones. Definitely. I think everyone wants to have a J-Rod rookie in their collection. If you don't have one yet, that's what it looks like. You can go after it in Topps Update Packs. we got some more All-Star Game rookies. we got the Topps Now, Stars of MLB. we got a white Prism Refractor right there with some Prism. we got the 87 Topps. Got a gold foil. Man, that's a nice parallel right there. Gold foil rookie of J-Rod. We have this one. His uh, 2020 Pro debut and the last card in here. It's good. Whoa, look at that. A Julio Rodriguez autograph. 1987 tops. Not wow, that car is probably worth about $500, I would imagine. What a great hit right there. Daniel, I wasn't expecting that. A Julio Rod, that's from 2022 tops update. Man, what a hit right there. I have, Jason, you have definitely outdone yourself, and uh, redemption indeed complete. What a great hit. 2022 Tops Update Redemption of Julio Rodriguez autograph. A man, I don't even know what to say about this one. Uh, probably worth 500 bucks is my guess on that one at least. I know that um, the 87 Tops Rookie Auto itself, when I had it, I gave it away a few months ago. It was about $500 to $600 when I had it. So that one's probably in that ballpark. Well, you got what you wanted from your J-Rod binder there, didn't you, Daniel? That's pretty freaking awesome. And we're not done. Oh, man, look at this. Another J-Rod hit. It's the J-Rod Hot Pack. You get the home field advantage case hit J-Rod in there as well. Look at that one. That is a beautiful card. And we've got one more for Daniel. It's an SGC. Is it going to be J-Rod? It feels like a J-Rod, right? Because we had a J-Rod binder. We had this one. And it's not a J-Rod, but it is a low numbered out of five. Wow. Vladdy Jr. out. I don't even know what to say. A disgusting pack right there for Daniel Tazi. You got a J-Rod binder. That binder there is definitely worth like over $500 with all those J-Rods and the autograph. And now you get the case hit, which is a nice chunk of change. And you get this on top of that. A Vlad Jr. Auto. It is an SGC 10. And to make it even better, it's out of five. How about that one? Daniel Tazi. Maybe you have the best one of the night right now, man. Amazing pull right there. I guess the, the word that's gone around in the chat multiple times tonight is disgusting. <laughs> in a good way. And we have two packs left. What could be left in here? Now, I think all the J-Rods have been pulled. If I'm not mistaken, I think he said there would be three J-Rod autos. We found all three of those and a J-Rod short print. We found that one in SGC 10. Michael Coleman, I don't know, man. He's got some other... I don't know. That last pack, you know how it is with last pack magic. So this isn't the last pack, but it's close to it. Let's see what we have. Michael Coleman... Good luck to you in pack number 11. We've got Matt Beatty vintage stock card on the top, numbered out of 99. Yeah, there has definitely been some surprises tonight. I'll give you that. 
George Springer pink speckle out of 350. Jordan Adams black and white mini diamond. There's a Derek Jeter rookie card in there. 1993 tops. Josh Lowe red. That one is numbered out of 25. Michael Brantley auto and Mike Zanino purple speckle out of 299. Moving along. You'll have your redemption in this pack, I believe. Cattell Marte, number to 99 from Archive Signature Series. And Bobby Witt Jr. binder alert. Bobby Witt Jr. coming up. We'll go ahead and check that one out right now. That leaves only one binder left after this one in the last pack. Here it is, Bobby Witt Jr. binder. 40. Um, Bobby Witt. You got the first edition from 2022. And we have the clear from... Uh, Panini, along with the Prospect card, Tops Fire, Bobby Witt, Archives, Bobby Witt, 2022 Bowman Chrome. We got his gallery, some more of his Archives rookies, Gallery and Sterling. Definitely some nice stuff in here. Bobby Witt update rookie cards. There's the stars of MLB rookies. More update rookie cards. More of the update, more update, more update, more update, more update. Stars of MLB season ticket, 87. The big question is now, is there going to be a Bobby Witt auto on the back? Half of these binders have had, maybe more, have had a, an auto in the very last spot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last card. It is a Bobby Witt gold rookie card from 2022. Tops update. Very nice. And we're not done with Michael yet. Not done yet, Michael. We have a little bit more to do here. Let's check it out. In pack number 11. So after the redemption, we have... A, whoa, that's a nice one. Raphael Devers out of just 15. That is from Luminaries. That is a very expensive box. Tops Luminaries on card auto of Raphael Devers. And we were getting ready to get into our last pack, which could be just even more insane than anything we've seen so far. Bobby Witt home field advantage right here. And that leaves one card. So what do you think? I feel like it's got to be a Bobby Witt hit, right? At the Bobby Witt Binder, we have the Home Field Advantage, which is a great card. And here it is, SGC. Yep, Bobby Witt short print in an SGC 9.5 for Michael Coleman. So, Michael, thank you very much. And now we're down to our final one. This last pack might be bonkers. The last pack was randomized to be Salvatore. So, Salvatore, here we go. We had a one-of-one one Jordan Alvarez graded rookie auto already. Three J-Rod autos, J-Rod short print. J-Rod Binder with an auto in it. We've got a 1,000 people in here watching right now, Salvatore, as we open your pack. Let's see if we can find something good. By the way, we'll be live on Thursday with Jay Simon's collection. We're auctioning off his cards on Thursday night. I hope you can join us for that. Here we go, Salvatore. Spot number 12, the last one of the night. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Let's see. Who is that last card going to be? Is that going to be the biggest one? I know if I was putting it together a mystery pack, I would probably have the temptation to put the biggest card as the last card and walk it off big time. We've got Kevin Plawecki, his vintage stock card numbered to 99. Everson Artiaga to 199. We've got Harry Ford to 499. We've got Rodolfo Castro out of 199. Matt S's monster packs. Jay Simon, that means a lot coming from Matt S. Matt S does awesome packs with the Magic Matt mystery packs. Joe Ryan Gold. All right, coming up next. Next pack, we got a Kyle Tucker Blue Ray Wave autograph right there. That's a beautiful card, number two, 150. Tarek Skubal Purple, that one's number two, 250. Luca Tresh to 499. And the redemption is going to be an O'Neill Cruz binder. So O'Neill Cruz coming up next. Let's check it out. This is the last redemption binder of the night. And then we have a couple more cards there to check out. How much for these packs? They're $550, bucks, 559 altogether. So a lot of these, um, it was a chase product, so some may have come a little short, but I think a lot of these cards blew past that in terms of overall value. And look at this one, O'Neill Cruz Chrome Photo Variation card right there, Refractor to lead off. That is an awesome card right there. We got the first edition card, a prospect card right there, O'Neill Cruz rookie card for one of those weirdo sets. Brent Benton says we're winding up his swing for a home run with the last card coming up. A bunch of O'Neill Cruz rookies. There's the Chrome rookie along with the base rookie. We got the Fire International signing card from Archives. We got a Crusade X Fractor rookie card there. Prism. We've got the Blue Speckle from Heritage along with regular Heritage. Next wave card from Gallery. Got some 1980 or 1994 Tops designs. Printer proof card right there of O'Neill Cruz. 
Next up, we have the 1987 Tops. Rookie cards right there. Love that design. We've got a O'Neill Cruz Silver Foil card. Got the 88 Tops Big. Got the Silver Pack cards right there. Coming up next, we've got O'Neill Cruz. I think those are, are those complete set variations. Another silver foil card, a blue. The big question is, are we going to have an O'Neill Cruz autograph in here? Half these binders have had an autograph at the very end. That's a beautiful pink speckle O'Neill Cruz rookie and a gold rookie. Lots of parallels of his rookies in here. Here we go. Yes, indeed. O'Neill Cruz. Black out of 199 autograph right there. The black border numbered auto of O'Neill Cruz. Very nice stuff right here. Love that card. That army says no way. And Brady, you called it. And we're not done yet. Another nice binder by Jay Simon mixing mystery packs with binders. All redemptions. And here we go. Let's continue on. We've got an Aloy Jimenez autograph coming up next. That is going to be a gray border numbered to 199. Coming up next, look at this. These cards used to not be worth very much, but now they are. Look at what we have here. This is like free money from Tops. Each one of these cards is worth 20 bucks in store credit. You take these cards into your card store, they'll give you 20 bucks. That's 20, 40, 60. 80, 100, and an X-Fractor of Paul Goldsmith. What's an X-Fractor go for? An X-Fractor? Is it 40 bucks or is it more than that? I can't remember. It might be 40. It might be more. It might be 100. I can't remember what the X-Fractor... Wow, that's at least $140 worth of free money right there at your local card store, Salvatore. Very, very nice. Dave says, I thought it was more than 40. Jay Ratliff thinks it's 100. Other people are saying it's 40. It is 40 for a refractor. I didn't know if X Fractor had its own category or not, but $140 worth of cards right there. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Home field advantage, Jazz Chisholm. And here we go, folks. Final card of this evening. It is going to be a graded slab card. We're going to walk things off here. Once again, thank you to everyone watching. 1,059 people here in the chat. I hope you'll hit that thumbs up button on your way out the door. Thank you very much for spending your last 60 minutes with us. Hope you'll check us out tomorrow. I have maybe three new release preview videos tomorrow, so make sure you check all of those out. And here we go. It is an SGC graded card. It is going to be a Henry Davis green ink autograph. It is an, an SGC 10. First overall pick in the draft, green ink. I think green might be... Is it to 99 is the green ink? There's uh, Onyx doesn't number their cards. They do like blue ink is to 50, red is to 25. Black ink, I think, is a one of one maybe. But um, I think this is a pretty nice card right here, Henry Davis, to wrap things up for Salvatore. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you want to go back and watch all of it, we have a whole bunch of uh, packs for you to look through for the last hour if you're just joining us. I hope you'll go back and rewatch it. Jay Simon, great job, great job redeeming yourself. Those packs were fun to open. I had a blast. I hope everyone out there watching had a blast as well. Heisenberger says these were amazing packs. Good job, Jason Simon. All right, folks. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. And I will see you all tomorrow for a live stream of Team Break Tuesday. Good night, everybody.